Plus in here, we got the Buckingham, um, the Eporium, the Trophy Room, and the Cellar. And overall, um, I guess we're here to make it something that isn't around this whole area. And that's including Chippewa, Eau Claire, um, and then of course, Puma. So we're trying to make a, you know, this side of the bar was um, more for, you know, kind of sports bar, but yet kind of a cheers, you know, um, where people can come, feel comfortable. Everybody knows everybody. And then of course games and um, mm -hmm. the one thing that we started highlighting right up off the bat was music so we wanted to bring the music back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of what this side is all about as for the Buckingham that was more for a lounge space um, after work environment just to sit and relax you know it's um, it's kind of got the laid-back vibe it's not loud it's just for people to come and talk and just sit down on comfortable furniture and chat about the end of the day um, that side will have a different menu when our kitchen opens than this side um, so it'll be more of a small plate um, food over there but it's also um, an e we call it our event space so it can be rented out for you know a baby shower a wedding shower Birthdays, birthdays, pretty much. Yeah. We've had an entire party, event. Yeah, and a celebration of life in there so far. Mm -hmm. um, and then we did a vendor fair throughout the whole bar. So we had that side open also. Um, and then the space outside of the Buckingham is also rentable. You can rent it with the Buckingham or without. And that's more of a probably those birthday parties or maybe something even for a kid we put some vintage games over there because we wanted that vintage speakeasy feel over there um so that's kind of what that space is about mm -hmm. then we got the Eporium, um a little shop has a little bit of everything um we'll be adding on we're aiming to add on local vendors too um uh, i know we have reached out to a few different local ones here in bloomer um uh, but even in the Chippewa Valley, we'll definitely want to try to highlight as much as we can. And then we got the trophy room that, uh, a lot of bucks, a lot of big bucks in there. <laughs> All shot by Bo, so that's kind of cool. Uh, relaxing, kind that's, of made into a poker area. Yeah, that's so. got a lot of history, that room. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, um, it, it, they were all shot by the, the gentleman who owns the actual building itself. And, um, all the businesses including us and there's many of them in in here we all lease from that family the wolf family mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um, so you guys repurposed this we did what what gave you the idea to try to take this on in the first place well originally we just came and looked at it for office space for our construction company and then it just one thing led to another and um we started calling it, he started calling this side his bar, and my bar was the Buckingham, so we wanted to make them both separate, and you know, it just, I don't know, with every month since we walked through the door in December, it just progressed mm -hmm. into what it is now. December? I yeah. mean, that's not that long ago. No, not that's really, not we did a lot of work. moving pretty fast here. Yeah, we, <laughs> I mean, we were here a lot. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a good friend of ours, um, mm -hmm. uh, Casey was a big part of developing this. Um, my daughter Riley helped. Um, she's another contractor. Uh, my ex-husband jumped in and painted this whole ceiling by hand and washed it first. He, he does everything by hand, so he was up on scaffolding for a month, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then John Sikora, the maintenance man in the whole building, he, he jumped in and helped also. Mm -hmm. so.